All right, let's start cooking this with a little gas. We're going to talk about some different stuff today. We're going to talk about things you need to do to start your pathway to success. One of the things that you got to do, and this is paramount, is you've got to buy back your time. One of the things that I've noticed is that people don't have copious amounts of free time to do the things they need to do. This is one of the things that I've observed. This is one of the things that I've noted, especially with the dating protocols. A lot of these women, they can only meet Friday night or Saturday or possibly Sunday. I don't live my life on regulation. I don't live a life where I don't have the ability to do what I want when I want. I don't live a life that I don't have thing. And you know, at the end of the day, time is very very important. Time is crucial. Time is super important in you living your best version of your life. Cuz this is one of the things I I I see a lot of people who make good money living these pathologically cheap lives to save money so they can get to a point where they're free to live their life the way that they want to. You know, back in the day when I had jobs and I used to work, I didn't really see myself suffocating for a job. It wasn't that I had bad jobs or management was mean to me. It was none of that stuff. It was just I knew I could do more. I knew that I can bring more to the table. And where my big problem back then was I wasn't skilled. That was the, the, the issue. I, I didn't have any skills. I wasn't set up to build. I, I didn't know how to sell. I didn't know how to market. So the first thing that you guys have got to do is buy back your time. That's the first thing you got to figure out because I'm asking myself, why is a Grant Cardone versus a Pudi, why is Grant Cardone successful? He figured out how to control his time. This is something that you will notice upon many, many successful people. Not all, but most of them know how to control their time. I have many friends who are business owners who they at home just as much as I am. I have one, one of the friend's wife tell me the neighbors thought her husband was retired because he was always home. He was always puttering around the house because he had created a business that ran itself. It didn't need him to be on the levers, driving the steering wheel. And this is what a lot of my friends have figured out how to buy back their time. It's very, very important that you buy back your time. It's very important that you situate yourself where you can control your time and destiny. And that's the big problem for a lot of people. They don't control their time. They can't control their time. They're not in a situation where they can uh, do what they need to do. All right. At this joint, we got to pay some bills, baby. Everything's off at Hustlers Kung Fu. 50% off. Use the promo code MONEY. Once again, use the promo code MONEY so you can begin to set your life on free where you can become the person you want to be, where you can start living life the way that you want to live your life. 
Go ahead and grab whatever you need. I suggest the basic financial management course. Everyone needs that because it teaches you how to manage, how to segment, and how to set your life up to receive more money and watch it stack and watch it grow. I'm waiting on some uh, disbursements because, you know, today is Columbus Day, so the banks are closed. So my weekend proceeds will come in tomorrow. How would you like to get paid every day? Not just Monday through Friday, the days you work, but you get paid on seven days a week. You get paid seven days a week. Your websites get collecting orders, putting money in your bank account seven days a week, 365 days a year. That's where you want to be. You want to get some of this Wi-Fi bread, man. So go ahead and get your course at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills dot com today all right how many folks here are buying back their time let's see what we got in the questions so brandon campbell david snell time is the only thing and once you use it you can never get those hours back that's a fact Right, having a job is never the problem. Having other people control your livelihood is the problem. All right, Blind and Buddha, thank you. Time freedom is so far outside the scope of so many people, it is insane. This is one of this is why it's so critical because so few people have it. Uh, I met this girl. We well, we never actually met because she never had time. And, you know, once, you know, due to the dominant male protocols, you ain't getting a weekend appointment unless you are. <laughs> I'm not going to waste a hot, valuable day, wasting my time just to go meet someone at a restaurant on one of the, the prime days. That, that ain't happening. So unless you coming out those panties, we ain't going out on a Friday night or a Saturday night. No, 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 no. We could do that during the week. And, you know, I had one, she, 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 this is funny. And this, this is the essence of time because she was like, well, I'm busy Monday through Friday. I was like, so, let, let, you know, let, let's go ahead and probe into this. So you don't have a lunch. Well, no, I have an hour for lunch. Do you use it? She said most days, so we can meet for lunch. Well, you know, I'll come to you. So you don't have to travel to maximize your lunch hour. Oh, okay. And that's how we met. And we had lunch two or three times. Because what I did was I speeded up the, the pre-selection committee. You know, the, the pre-select, you know, well, women have this funny thing about time. Time spent is a big thing to a woman. So we went to lunch three times. Then Saturday, she came over here and, you know, a proper appointment. Because she was trying to get Saturday for a meet and greet. And that, that wasn't going to happen. Because, see, one of the things you got to understand about your time. Part of the issue with time is when we're born, we think. Well, actually, we do have a lot of time from the day that you're born. Let's say you're 16 years old and when you become self-aware and you start to ponder life and stuff. 16, 18, you've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years. So you you at that juncture, you do have a tremendous amount of time. But how do you use that time? Because one of the things that I'm witnessing with this Wi-Fi bread on YouTube is a lot of these kids in high school. There's this one dude I watch. He just turned 18. He started a Shopify store two years ago. He just bought his first rental property. So at 18, he does that for the next 10 years, which means he'll be 28, which is still a lot of time, a lot of time. He'd be set for life. 
So one of the things is, you, you know, you, you got to buy back your time because a lot of these kids are not buying into the go to college and get a job mantra. They're like, I've seen that not work for my mom and dad. I've seen that not work for my big brother and sister. I'm not doing it. I'm going to become an entrepreneur. I'm going to go out here and get some of this Wi-Fi bread. And that's how I choose to use my time. How you use your time is very, very important. Is super important. Procrastination is also the enemy of time freedom. I, I find that a lot of people just can't make a decision. I went from eight hour shift to 12 hour shift nights. I get three and four days off a week to work on my eBay hustle business. Edward Anderson, that, that's a big thing a lot of people screw up on. They do a lot of busy work. And they don't get shit done. Uncle G, I purchased the Hustles LLC theory. Yeah, the Hustles LLC, I'm going to have to change that up because, see, a lot of people shop on price versus what they need. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what we can do about that for you. Well, you know, one of the things that a lot of people have to do is they have to focus because... Right now, in today's world, we, we have so many opportunities. And like, you know, content marketing. There's a lot of people who are doing content marketing, but there's no real clear end goal. Like, um, what I'm getting ready to do for the folks over at Disruptive Mail is the Sugar Daddy course. This just crazy. I just put up a video over there. Y'all should be able to, y'all should check that out. Because it's wild. And one of the things is uh, I'm getting ready to make some more products for the man spear. Because, you know, there's a whole group of dudes. They don't want to put in the time to become a dominant man. But if uh, they, they can get some guidance on the sugar daddy thing, they are in. They are in like Flynn. So we're, we're going to get some stuff together for them. Engineer life skills. Started asking managers, what can I contribute here? The blank stare and inability to speak was priceless. Jobs only keep you busy 20% of the time. My business keeps me stimulated 100% of the time. Oh, mindset is everything, man. Man, you got to be careful being a consultant. Oh, I do a lot of content marketing because uh, what I'm doing with Disruptive Mail, because see, I've learned many lessons from this YouTube channel. Oh, you like the sugar daddy video. Oh, yeah, because see, this is where we are in today's dating world. Because, you know, uh, if you haven't noticed, go over to Disrupted Mail, check out these videos. But I have experienced some stuff recently that literally blew my mind. And let's talk about time. One of the reasons that I developed so much game was I invested a lot of time in game. This is, you know, because the average man who has a job, who has responsibilities, who can only be free on the weekends, does not have enough time 
to conduct the experiments to gain the knowledge that I gained. Like the time that I, I interviewed 200 women for this relationship book that I wrote half of and I realized I didn't want to be the relationship book dude. Because most of the relationship book dudes were throwing other dudes under the bus. Like, well, the reason that you're having a problem is it's him. And I was like, that ain't the problem. A lot of you women just don't have your stuff together. And it is creating this energy. And I, I just like, I didn't want to be part of that. But I had the time to talk to 200 women. I had the time to run game strategies on dozens of women. Dozens. Because I had the time. You know, doing this YouTube channel, writing that first book, bought me back my time. I could, like, I'm so used to doing what I want to do every day that, you know, like, you know, Tuesdays, that's why I only do consults on Tuesday. Because, you know, as Edward said, I have a different perspective because I had the time to develop the perspective. If you're a dude on YouTube with a regular job, you don't have the time to learn the things that I learned. I mean, you know, the great, the, one of the greatest experiments was I set a goal to have sex with 30 women in uh, 30 days. And, the, par and the, the parameters were no tricking, no dinner dates, no going out, no paying, nothing. You just had to come to my place, drop your drawers, and bend over. I got to 27 before I tapped out. Because one of the things I learned, because I had the time, was that 30 women in one month is a lot of women. And you start to notice things. You start to notice that this one's vagina is like tight from the top to the bottom. Because there is no big space between interactions. So at 27, my ass hurt. I tapped out. I couldn't do the other three. You know, I still had time. I was like, I'm done. I was wore out. I was drained. And, you know, I developed many different protocols because I had the time to experiment. And a lot of this was leveraged off of what I did to make money in the storage auction business. Man, man spirits promote men should go to Romania. What? Uh, Alexis Lemieux, fo focus uh, definitely. The other day I logged into Facebook for after almost three years, I was immediately bombarded. You know, that's very interesting. I have several Facebook profiles, and I got one that I don't log into on a daily basis, and Facebook will do stuff. They will send you emails. They will try to entice you back to the platform. Hey, Alexander Olivia, I'm thinking about renouncing my American citizenship. Is there a place you would go outside the country and apply your methods? Alexander, don't get rid of your citizenship. There is no place on the planet like the United States of America. There is no more powerful passport than the American passport. I think you need to calm down, rethink that, and get busy here. I mean, dude, two, three years, you could become a millionaire here. There ain't no other place on the planet that you can do that. No other place on the planet. So rethink that. A lot of dudes won't trick off their cash, but how much time they waste dealing with unqualified women. Edwin Anderson, that's one of the things that I talk about on Disruptive Male. You got to have standards because, you know, I, I will have a confession. Back in the day before I became initiated, before I became the guy I am today, I messed around with this girl for about damn near two years trying to have sex with her. 
because she was friendly and she would talk to me, but she wasn't qualified. I was like, hey, you know, it's good morning text, good night text. I was her surrogate boyfriend. And then she met this other dude who was Jerome, and Jerome came in with the long dick style, and within two weeks, he had that locked up. Two weeks. And I'm dicking around for two years because I did not know how to qualify her. I did not have her qualified. And th this is one of the things because, you know, once you go ahead and get yourself together and you go ahead and get your um, situation together, you will be able to fill up your roster very quickly. There's this myth you should uh, only be only game on a trick. There's this joke you should always improve your mind, body, and masculine presence and game. But to take money off the table is dumb. With current conditions, let's go back to time. What this whole thing is, you got to buy back to time. The majority of women are in a financial precarious position. Take advantage. Because, you know, and this, I'm going to do the sugar daddy course. You know, it, you ain't going to be paying no twenty, thirty, five, six, seven thousand dollars a month. I'm going to teach you how to get the best chick for the least amount of money. Because I went through the process. Uh, a lot of the broke mentality thinking or are, are using game as the universe to get out of the money card. But the time freedom argument never comes up either as money and time. Well, you know, uh, I will say because I had the time and I had an Internet business that allowed me to make money. While I had the time to run these experiments. And this is where you got to do. You got to get in the position where you got an income source coming in. Because first thing, you know, and I tell everybody, if you don't know what to do, start a service business. That's instant cash. You can make fifteen hundred to five thousand dollars in thirty days from start with a service business, depending on what you do. And that's the first thing, you know. Going ahead to Erica Williams. Erica Williams ran a painting business. And she did credit repair to get to the next level. Then she got rid of those businesses. So even though if you're not like, hey, I don't want to start a service business. I, I mean, man, you can start that for two or three years to move yourself to the next level. What's up, Johnny Walden? U.S. passport is the best. You know, you got two countries, Japan and Singapore, and I, I don't have any experience with that, but I know that you can go to Brazil on your passport where Brazilians have to get a visa to come here. So from a reciprocal standpoint, it's the best thing going. How many people live in Japan and Singapore?
Yeah, I would not renounce my citizenship. So once again, American citizenship gives you access to a marketplace that is so dynamic that people are literally dying to get here. Like, take the credit card system. There is no other place on the planet that this credit system exists the way that it exists in America. Use properly, you can use credit to get rich. Don't use credit for personal stuff. Don't use credit for vacations. Don't use credit for car loans. Use credit, personal credit and business credit to propel your business ahead. I mean, I don't really need credit for my business because it's, it's a mostly cash business and I get paid immediately. But if I needed credit, it's available. If I wanted to run a trucking company, I would probably get myself half a million dollar credit line. You know, and that would be with just one truck because trucks have a lot of expenses. Black Caesar, I don't know why it's very complicated, but if a man who's getting money and working on yourself, the women will come. You have to be skilled at vetting and selecting ones that's best for you. Absolutely. That's the whole dominant male posture. If you work on yourself, if you do what you need to do, yeah, they will come. They will be there. But once again, since I have, I got the time to run all these experiments. I have the time to be the guinea pig. I remember when Uber first started out. I drove for Uber for six weeks to write a book about Uber. And at the end of the day, Uber was just a good hustle, but it wasn't like a serious business model. There was just too many gotchas. And, you know, you, you know, if you needed it in a pinch or, you know, if it was extra income, it was good. And that's how I surmised up in my book. But once again, I had the time and I had some miscolored tooth jackrabbit talking about, well, Glenn is driving for Uber and Glenn lives in an apartment because he was jealous because he didn't have the talent to come on YouTube to make the money that I make. And this, this is typically these single female mother parent household dudes because they've never seen a real man operate and they've never seen a man have power. So they feel that that is just some fantasy. They've never seen a man have money. That, you know, unless he's a baller, you know, he's, he's playing in the NFL, he's playing in the NBA. That's the, only, that's the only way that they can see a man with money and power. Ernest, I didn't know that. I don't know anything about Canada. A lot of dudes have a very small window to do approaches, so they put the Winions of Pendles on a pedestal because they don't have time to run the numbers. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this sugar daddy course because for the average dude with a job and just normal responsibilities, they don't have the time. And this is something that I missed. Uh, this is something that is part of the whole process. Robbie Rob, the reason I'm working on my financial independence, 
I want to set the standard for my children and show them the power of ownership. Oh, I would agree, Edward. Also, if you're working, you can't even put yourself in a position during the day to find high-quality women in day game situations where the energy is different versus in the club. Um, you know, it, it's very interesting you say that because I was out the other day and I was just chatting up this cashier and boom, if I wanted those digits, I could have got those digits. If I wanted that trim, I could have got that trim. So once again, time is a, a very big thing. I would agree, you know, uh, approaching women during the week is much easier than approaching women during the weekend. Going back to the whole essence of this live stream. That. Everybody's pressed for time. This is why you got to get your time back. This is why you need to start a service business. So you have freedom of thought, freedom of time and freedom of action. Hold on a second. I got to take a little breaky break. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I'm back. I have to take a little little breaky break. Y'all got all kinds of conversations going on in here. Black Caesar. It's like a lot of these dudes today are afraid to walk up to a woman and introduce yourself, tell her what you're, why you came over and ask her to take a number and holler back if she's interested. Uh, this is something I've said for a long time. Black Caesar, we're living in an age where women will have sex for you for free. There's really no need to pay for sex unless you intend to do like Uncle G said and go into the sugar daddy mode. Well, th this is the thing, man. You know, you could be a dominant male or, you know, I'm going to say that a lot of dudes just don't have the time between your job, your workout program, your business and thing. And, you know, once again, my first option would be the dominant male protocols. Get yourself together. Get your money together. Get your body together. Get your spirit together. But we have a lot of men who are not in that mode. And that's what would be my recommendation. But we will be doing the sugar daddy, the sugar daddy strategies. Because right now, you know, due to time, due to the lack of time, you've got many women who are caught in precarious situations. You know, like on the video that I talked about on the uh, other channel, Disruptive Male. When you get pressed for time, anything that can save you time and get your objectives accomplished could be considered a win. You know, depending upon how you do it, how you set it up. You know, this is one of the easiest ways to do something. But I'm getting ready to go. Just let y'all know that you can get anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, 50% off. The promo code is money. So you can start staking your life of freedom. Because once again, one of the reasons that this channel is so interesting, I have so much content, is I have been in possession of my time for two decades. I went from a situation where I did not control my time. I had to work these crappy jobs for little pay, long hours, and inconvenient schedules. You know, it's my life for years. And I figured out that I needed more skill sets. If you have an income problem, you don't have enough money, it's not an income problem. It's a skill set problem. You don't have enough skills. That's where the issue is. You don't have enough skills. That was the position I was in many years ago. I didn't have the skills. I didn't know how to do anything. I was a nice guy, but I wasn't valuable to society. And society just like, bump you. Society's like this. What have you done for me lately? How are you helping me out? How are you contributing to the cause? This is society. I mean, you could be a nice guy. You could be a hardworking guy. But like you walk up on someone that's in an accident. You're a nice guy. You're a hardworking guy. But that person needs a doctor. 
you nice and all, but that person needs a doctor. And that's your situation. If you don't have cash flow, you don't have the money you want, you need more skills. You need to learn how to do certain things. So with that, I will see you guys.